holds maneuver. Just like everything else, we're gonna wash our hands, prepare all the needed equipment, provide patients privacy, and we'll verify our patients using two verifiers, name and date of birth. We're gonna explain to our patients that we'll be performing Leopold's maneuver. Good morning, ma'am. My name is Lovely Gumal and I'll be your student nurse for today. May I know your name, ma'am? Angelica. Mrs. Angelica, I will be performing Leopold's maneuver to determine the position of your baby. Would you like, ma'am, to go to the restroom before we start? Before we start? Because you might feel uncomfortable later during palpation. Drape the clients to provide privacy. first before touching the client's abdomen, locate the fundus. Using measuring tape, we need to measure the fundic height from fundus above the symphysis pubis. Place both hands on the fundus. We'll be observing and describe the consistent consi consistency, shape, and mobility. For consistency, in head it is harder than the breech. In shape, the head is round and harder. In mobility, the ability of head move back and forth. The fetal head is hard, firm, round, and moves independently from the trunk. The buttocks feel softer, symmetric, and small bony prominence. Second maneuver, umbilical grip. This maneuver determines whether the head of the butt of the buttocks are in fundus. It determines the location of fetal back and extremities. A fetal back is firm, smooth, hard, and resistant, and fetal extremities is like small irregularities. Whole grip. We need to gently grasp the lower portion of abdomen below synthesis pubis. This maneuver finds the head at the pelvic inlet and determines its mobility. We also determine the petal part is lying above the inlet and lower abdomen. So in this symphysis pubis, we feel the hard and round because it is the head. In this part, the bridge or botox will feel softer in a regular. Pelvic grip. So I will place my three fingers on both sides of lower abdomen and press it downwards and inward. I will move gently down side of the uterus towards pubis. In this maneuver, it will help us to identify presenting part and find out the level of whether it is engaged. We will also find the location of cephalic prominence that tell us how far head descended into the pelvis. And it determines the degree of flexions of fetal head. Angelica, I'm done performing your Ovilia Pulse Maneuver. Thank you so much for your cooperation. 
I will record and document all your findings and I will give you the next schedule for your next visit.